What do you think? Hey guys, here we are with the brand new Creep Production Monster High Dolls. We got some in here and another in here, so let's go ahead and open them up. I'm so excited for this. All right, I can already see them. Oh, they look so gorgeous. So first up, we have Julia Yelp. Look at that. Ooh, the box is so cute. Then we have Abby Abominable. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love her style. And last, we have Spectra Vondragus. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not for sure. Ooh, she's so cool. Love the purple. Now in here, we have our Cleo Induced 2 pack. I was really excited for this one. So let's go ahead and open them up. Let's see. Oh, and we got a box inside of a box. Get rid of that. I just smashed my other dolls. They're fine. Oh, I can see it. It's so cool. Y'all, here we go. We can get it out. Our Cleo induced two pack. <gasps> Look how cool they are. So exciting. These are gonna be so much fun to open. All right, guys. So here we are with all of our lovely ghouls and our manster over here. I was so lucky to get all these. They sold out like within the first week. I got these on pre-order. I joined like a million Monster High groups and decided I'm going for it. I'm getting them all. So I did. They all look so lovely. I remember when these dolls first came out, everyone wanted them. Our mom took one look at them and she said, uh, you know what? Let's stick to Barbies. I was always a little bitter about that. And I never would have imagined that about 13 years later, I would be able to get them all brand new in the box. I also can't believe that they're only $25. To me, that's extremely reasonable. And they're pretty much very close identical to the original wave. Really excited to open them and I honestly don't even know where to start. Probably gonna go with Abby because she is one of my favorites. So here we have Abby. Her box is in really great condition. Thank you Amazon. There are two variants of the tinsel. I just got the straight tinsel instead of the beaded one. We've got her pet Wooly Mammoth over here and I heard something that they lost the trademark so it doesn't actually have a name anymore. I love the detail and the artwork on these boxes. I think it looks so amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to open her, but I really do want to do like as least <laughs> As I was saying, I want to do as least damage as possible to her box. Oh, just take a look at this. I love how she has like sparkles on her face. That is so cool. And her boots here are so soft. Now let's take her out of the box. All right, and she is free. Oh my goodness, look at her. She is such a stunning doll. Her dress is so cute. The dress does come open in the back, so it's easy to take on and off. She also has this purse here. Here's a closer look at her hair. It's a little bit messy, but it's really pretty. It's also really thick. I love the tinsel in it and all these rainbow colors underneath. She also has earrings on, and the cool thing that I didn't even notice was that they're different. This one's like a snowflake and this one's more like an icicle and they complement each other really well She's got these cute purple leggings and my favorite part of her outfit is probably her shoes. Look at this That is so cool. And then these might come off. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah They're like two separate pieces So she's actually got boots and then she has like the fur thing over it. That is so cool She's also got this little head piece on. I love her face. She's got the little fangs here some really pretty pink lips Lips, got some light purplish eyeshadow, and you can't tell as much on camera, but her face actually is sparkly, and so is her hands and the rest of her skin. That's a really nice detail, and I think it makes her really pretty. She also comes with this wooly mammoth. It's purple. I think its name was Shivers or Tundra, I want to say, but it's really cute. Then, of course, we've got the brush. She's also got a diary in here. These are perhaps one of my favorite accessories, at least as the stage for a lot of awesome games that you can play with them. And then last of all, we have her stand. The stand is this lovely blue shade. All stands like are a lot trickier than they should be, but there we go. And here is Abby Abominable. She is so beautiful. Next up, I think we're going to open Gulia. So here she is. She's really pretty, actually. I think she looks a lot prettier in person. I love her design and color. It feels so unique. She's got this cute little pet owl called Sir Hoots a lot and some really nice accessories, too.
All right, and here we have Gulia. Oh, she's so pretty. Let's go ahead and get her out of here. Take a look at her shoes while we're at it. Those are some of the coolest Monster High shoes I've seen. All right, and here is Gulia out of the box. My goodness, she is so pretty. I love her outfit even more than I thought I would. She might be one of the most stylish Monster High dolls. I love the color. It just contrasts against her blue hair and skin tone so well. And look at the hair up here. So she's got like a lighter blue in it and these darker blue streaks up here. Here's also what her hair looks like in the back. It definitely needs some boil washing, but it's really pretty. Then I love her glasses. I also love her earrings. She's also got a necklace and then here's the outfit. One of my favorite parts is the fish net on here. That is so unique and so cute. She's also got this belt that has kind of, it looks like a piano and she has like a cherry top with a red and black and white striped shirt underneath. These really soft and adorable pants and she's got a green headband up here. I truly am amazed by the style of this doll. It just goes so well and I definitely understand why every Everyone wanted to get their hands on a Ghoulia. Then we also have her bag. It is so stylish. It says Monster Mix. She's got a cute little owl here. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. Here it is. I like the design. It's very cute. Its eyes are a little odd. They look like googly eyes. And then I think she could actually hold him. She's got this pretty red brush. Then we have her diary and then her stand. All right, now let's put it together. All right, that just snaps together. Mm. That just snaps together perfectly. And one thing that I should mention about this doll is that these are actually two separate pieces. So she can have like the shirt on without the fishnet and with it on as well. I'm a little worried that this is going to like fray and break. So I'm just gonna leave it on the doll for now, but it is really cute. Now let's see if she can actually hold the owl. Oh, look, she's holding it. How cool is that? And then I want to try to get the stuff off of her glasses. I think I'm gonna do that part off camera. All right, I got the stuff off of her glasses and she looks even better. But let's see what she looks like without the glasses. Oh. <gasps> She's so pretty. Let's just take a moment to appreciate her face. She has the sparkly clear eyeshadow, the prettiest lips I've ever seen on a doll. Her eyes are also really pretty and she has this heavy dark eyeliner around her eyes. It is so pretty. Then here are the glasses by, by themselves. They are really stylish and they go so well with the outfit. I'm a little curious to see if these will fit on Barbie dolls. Definitely a little big and they make the doll look like an owl. So not for Barbie dolls. Sorry, Waldo. I wasn't expecting it, but Gulia might actually be my favorite. <laughs> and there we have a Gulia Yelps. Now it is time to open up Spectra. She's also one I was debating on, but purple is my favorite color. So I was like, you know what? If there's a purple doll, I have to get her. So I did and I don't regret it. My only concern is that I've heard she has poly hair, which is like the worst type of doll hair ever. So I'm hoping it's not absolutely horrendous. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Her box is the only one that has like a little bit of damage up here. Get her out of here. First off, I just love the purple colors. I mean, as a purple lover, I can honestly say I love this doll. Purple lips, purple hair, purple outfit, purple ferret. And just like, again, the shoes, like if anyone's gonna slay with their shoes every time, it is monster high. Let's go ahead and take her out of the box. And here is Spectra out of the box. She's a lot prettier than she looked online. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about her hair. This Spectra is really weird because she has like shorter portions and then longer portions. It's just a little bit odd. Her hair is also definitely poly. It's not the worst. It is really nice and it looks really shiny for now. And I love the different shades of purple in her hair. I also think it'd be nice if I gave it a slight wave or like a curl. We might try that here later. We'll have to see. Another thing that I think makes this doll so unique is that she actually looks like a ghost. So take a look at this. Her skin is white and then it fades out. Look at it down here on her feet. Her outfit's also super cute. One thing I didn't realize is that this is actually two pieces. So you have like the top and then you have the skirt. So that's really nice if you want to like mix and match and stuff. Here's the front of it. It's really sparkly and it's got chains. Opens up in the back. <clears throat> and then we have a glittery skirt. It's got like black tinsel here and then it's pink underneath. She's also got a silver belt that goes with it. She's got a necklace here 
here and her earrings are really cool. And then last but not least, we have her shoes. These are honestly so stylish. Real quick, here's a closer look at her face. She's got purple lips, some teal eyeshadow. Her eyes are kind of like a bluish gray color. She also has this really cute bag. Then let's get her ferret out of here. I think its name is Ruin, but I could totally be mispronouncing that. So don't take my word for it. It took me a while to figure out like what the heck this was, <laughs> but it is a ghost ferret. I love it though, I love it. And I think it will stand up by itself on its tail actually. We also have her diary added to the pile. Then we have her beautiful purple brush and stands. We're gonna have so many Monster High brushes after this. All right, there she is and maybe she can hold her pet ferret. There we go, look how cute that is. I feel like she is such a unique doll, especially out of the Monster High line, but I really love the ghost style. And as a purple lover, I love this doll. Here is a Spectre of Arndegist. Now last, but certainly not least, is our Cleo Induce 2-pack. This has actually been one of my Holy Grail dolls. I've wanted these two forever, this specific pack, but it was like crazy expensive, so it's pretty much out of the question until the Creep Productions came out. If I saw this like even a year and a half ago, I would never have believed that I would be unboxing these two. So I'm super excited for this one. Cleo has always been one of my favorites. Oh, I'm almost like scared to open it. I really love the box art. Of these two. I think they're so cute. And just the whole color scheme of this set is really, really nice. Let's go ahead and open it. Here they are. They're so pretty. Oh, I'm like so tempted to leave them in here, but no, they gotta come out. Let's go ahead and open them up. I think Deuce is gonna be easier to remove, so we're gonna get him out first, maybe. All right, there we go. We got Zeus out. He's just so cool. All right, we got Cleo and we got Deuce. Here they are. They're adorable. I do have to say this tinsel, I love it and I hate it at the same time. On one hand, it looks really pretty, but it is also this humongous mess. This was all tangled up in like the packaging and stuff. So I hope I can fix that with a boil wash and all, but I really do think that it adds a nice flair to this doll. I've always wanted the original Cleo. She's been on my dream list forever. First, let's take a look at her headband, but it's like gold with little blue beads on it. It's really gorgeous. Here's a closer look at her earrings. Really, really pretty. I think this is her eye coffin. The shoes, once again, absolutely killing it. These are so gorgeous. I just can't believe the detail that they went to on so many of these dolls. And then she has a gold bracelet and this one up here as well. Here's a closer look at her face. She has really pretty red lips. Her eyes are kind of a greenish, yellowish color and she has some purple eyeliner. But Cleo is just, she's super stylish, super fashionable. Now, sorry for throwing you to the side, but here is Deuce. I love the fashion. So he's got like the snakes on his head. That is so cool. Here's his face. Don't stare into those eyes if you know what I mean. They look a little bit creepy, but they're also cool. Um, he's got like the jacket on with a red shirt underneath. I think that's a skull. His pants, they look like snake prints. His shoes are like pretty basic. He's got chains up here and an earring. He's also got a bracelet. Deuce also has this really cool set of glasses so he doesn't turn everyone to stone. And oh my gosh, he absolutely rocks it. I love those. Let's see what the Ken dolls look like with those on. Oh yeah, this is much better. They're honestly pretty stylish. We've also got their pets. First we have little Hissets, our cute little cobra. She's got like jewelry on. And what I thought was a dragon that is actually a rat. I think it's pronounced Perseus. Here he is. He's got a funny little two tails. Hmm, we got some freaky stuff going on. Kind of giving Spike vibes, if you know what I mean. Then we have Cleo's purse right here. So fashionable. They each have diaries. And then we also have the stands. And here we have Cleo and Deuce. They're just iconic, original. I love the style of both of these dolls and all their cute accessories. Ugh, I love them so much. And here everyone is the entire second wave of Monster High Creep Productions. 
They're honestly even cooler than I thought they would be. I'm super excited that I was able to get them all. I would do it all again. I would definitely recommend anyone who's a Monster High or just a doll fan in general get these dolls here. I think they're pretty affordable, they're gorgeous, and I think they're pretty close to the original ones. Gulia is probably my favorite and Abby is a close second. I really hope that Mattel continues the Creep Productions. I would literally buy one of every single doll. I never would have imagined that 13 years later I'd be able to buy back the dolls my mom said no to. And on that note, my mom doesn't actually really know about these dolls. She knows that I bought some, but she's never actually seen them. So let's get her live reaction and see what she thinks about these dolls. What do you think? Oh, well, they're actually kind of cute. Yeah? Who's your favorite? What? Okay, so I don't like them. Oh. I guess this one. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Bye.